This video will cover basic project navigation and features of your new powertrain management system. It is assumed you've already installed and registered Tuner Studio, as well as copied the contents of your provided USB drive into a location on your PC you can easily locate. This USB drive also contains your startup guide. This video is a supplement to your startup guide and does not replace it. First, we will start up Tuner Studio. Notice I've already started Tuner Studio, and we'll import our project. To do this, we click File, Import Project Backup, and browse to the location where we copied the contents of your USB folder. Notice we only have a single project file to select. Select this file by double-clicking. You may change the name of your project, or you can accept our name. It really doesn't matter. Click OK to import the project. Your project folder contains all information Tuner Studio needs to communicate with your new powertrain management system. When the import is finished, open the project by clicking Yes. And this brings up our dash file for our project. I already had the ECU alive and communicating, and at this point, if you turn your ignition key on, your ECU should communicate with Tuner Studio. It's important to understand that while the engine and transmission controllers are in one enclosure and you communicate with them using the same easy to use program, they are two separate control units with two separate tuning files. To select which control unit you are tuning at any given time, you use this drop down. If the main project name is displayed, you are tuning the main project controller, which is the engine controller, and you will have engine control settings at the top of your screen. And if we have main dashboard selected here, the project main dashboard is displayed, which is configured to display useful engine tuning parameters. If we wish to tune the transmission controller, we select Trans from the drop-down. Notice our tuning windows here changed to transmission-related items. And if we want to display transmission-related gauges and dashboards for transmission tuning, we click the Trans dashboard located here. And here we have items that are determined to be useful primarily for transmission tuning. It's very important to understand which controller you are intending to tune and which files you wish to save. When we wish to save a file, we click File and Save Tune As. Notice we have a selection bubble under this portion of the display where it's marked Controller. The controller with the selection bubble is the controller we are saving the file for. So in this case, we would just be saving the engine control tuning file. To save the transmission control tuning file, we would place the selection bubble next to trans, then we would click save. Always give your tune files selected names that are unique to them that make sense to you, and also let you know that is an engine tune or that is a transmission tune. When you close Tuner Studio, it will save the current file that was in each controller as currenttune.msq or transcurrenttune.msq for the transmission controller. While it does do this and this, that can help you out should you make a mistake, it is recommended you maintain unique file names. This concludes our initial project setup video. For additional questions or assistance, please go to the support forum at stingerperformance.com and watch the next video in our series for basic engine tuning setup.